Hi, Leo. Welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there. Readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you to those who have reached out for a personal reading. Thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I love to do it for you guys. So thank you, thank you for all your support. really means a lot. So thank you, thank you. And we'll get started here. So this is for Leo, first half of August general reading. Hope everybody's doing well. It's our birthday. I am also a Leo. I am an end of a July Leo person. And this is for the first half of August. So happy birthday to all us Leos. All right, so let's go see what's going on for some Leos here for the first half of August. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign planet or um, element energy, and uh, we'll see how that plays into your reading. If for some reason something doesn't resonate with just this part, that's totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra message, and it's raining and thunderstorming right now. It's uh, about 9.30 at night, so <laughs> big thunderstorms coming through. Okay. Maybe something big going on for you, Leo. I don't know. Let's, we'll see. All right. I don't know why I cut the deck, but I guess I did, because I did shuffle and cut and um, meditate in all the decks ahead of time. I don't usually cut on camera, but I guess I was meant to do that. Okay. For Leo, first half of August. What's going on with Leo, Spirit, please? Well, we have the sun again. Wow, I just did your love reading and the sun came out and here it is again. Wow. Wow, Leo. It's really being in your power the first half of August in love and in general, in your general reading. Wow. This is being true to yourself, being truly who you are, being happy and joyous and passionate and fiery and just standing up for yourself and just being true to yourself. Being in your Leo sun power. Wow. All right, Leo. Or you could be dealing with another Leo. I don't know. Wow. Okay, Leo. Sun coming out in your love reading and in your general reading. Wow. All right. So let's see what your main message is. Let's see what's going on. Wow, it's really quick. The Desert Prince, survival, false promises, and we have one and nine, which is 10, which is about endings, and then one is a new beginning. So maybe there is something here that you really had to survive through was based on false promises, but you survived, you overcame it, and now you're really in your power now. You have one and three on four on uh, the sun, which is four, which is about stability. Five on Leo is about change. So you might have gone through some sort of ending. It was a big change for you, but now you're more stable than you were before. And maybe whatever you overcame was just something built on false promises and you just survived through the whole thing. All right, so let me see if there's just a little extra... Uh, message in here. I'm just going to read a little bit here. Um, be tough, have courage, and dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. It may seem to be a hard time, but not only will you survive, you will thrive. In spite of conditions, you'll succeed. Dry spells are also true test of faith and courage. Expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. So it's sort of like a dry spell also, like just something that you, you know, just a dry period, but you're going to go come through it. You'll survive through it and uh, you'll come out all the better for it. 
you know, maybe some sort of ending that involves change, more stability. You went, th you went through it, this dry spell, whatever it was. And now you're uh, really being in your power. So let's see what the bottom of the deck has. The River Queen, Flow, Letting Go, Natural Movement, 3 and 6, 9. So wishes coming true, having your stability and independence. Um, may it have been some stress and anxiety through that process. You may have fought a tough battle, but you keep fighting and striving on. You are a Leo. You're very fiery, passionate, determined, willed type of people. I know I'm a Leo. I definitely have that energy. And here's the river queen of just finally just going with the flow, letting it go. Whatever's meant to be will be in whatever your situation is here. And just natural movement of things, the natural flow of things, the divine flow of things. All will be what is meant to be. So in the river queen there, water is very healing energy. So it may be healing also over something. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I can definitely resonate with you just to share a little bit because I don't know if you follow my channel at all. You know it was uh, recently hacked and stolen. And as I'm recording this, I still don't have my channel back. They're still trying to uh, get it back to me. And there's been problems and it's been um, like six weeks now. So I definitely can resonate with this. So... And I'm hoping to get it back soon. So I'm doing all my readings, hoping I get it back and I can just upload all my readings. So, uh, and that's that fiery, passionate energy of being a go-getter, being determined and just going on with that fiery Leo energy. All right. So Leo, so get back to Leo's. <laughs> watching this what's going on with leo what's going on with leo can we have some energy of leo what are they going through what's their energy what's going on oh let me make sure oh my cards are in reverse okay so we have the ten of swords wow and i had just said with one and nine is ten and now we have the ten of swords so some sort of painful ending here uh, was very hard. You felt defeated. Uh, you felt all was lost. Uh, definitely how I felt when my channel was stolen. I was just like, I've lost everything. I'm never going to get it back. I felt everything I worked so hard for was just gone, and it was very painful. Um, I think my heart just dropped to the floor. I was like, what? So, yep, this is, you know... Painful, hurtful ending, Ten of Swords, that's air energy. Um, so, yep, some sort of ending here. Or you might have been in the energy of thinking something was just done over, it's the end, it's completed, and that's just it, And but maybe it really wasn't. I don't know, we'll see. So we'll see what other energy is around you. So we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Hermit, exactly. So thinking here, you know, everything has ended everything is done being very hurt and heartbroken painful ending here and something could have come to an end uh, whatever it is for you uh, it could be a friendship it could be uh, a job it could be a relationship of some kind um, or something just coming to an end this is a general reading so however it resonates for you something here and now there's a lot of confusion energy here with the Seven of Cups. Not sure where to go, what to do, you know, uh, options. What options do I need to look at? Just being in that, like, confused, daydreamy kind of energy. Like, what happened? What went on? Why did this come to an end? Where do I go from here? There's a lot of questions and confusion. And then the Hermit energy, which is Virgo. So this is, you know, just spending time, you know, whatever ending this was that was hurtful, just going in, you know, and spending time alone and really doing the healing work, the inner work, the journey work, you know, finding your way, finding your light, finding your inner peace and sanctuary and uh, really figuring out what you need to do that's best for you in this situation. So let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so... So right in the middle of the spreads and spread now we have the nine of swords and up here we have the ten of swords. So yeah, a lot of stress and anxiety 
with the ace the nine of swords here air energy uh worry stress anxiety nervousness uh fear you know can't sleep maybe even nightmares just a lot of worrying energy and that's right in the middle of your spread and then uh we do have the page of cups here though so um water energy and again wow look how similar these cards look wow wow so I feel like here with the page of cups, you know, this is about communication. It also can mean children. It can be a youthful energy. This can be, you know, um, learning or uh, just maybe finally coming, you know, having enlightenment and maybe having all of a sudden this spiritual connection and receiving messages from the spirit world and just having that inner peace and knowing like out of nowhere that all will be fine it could also be apologies so maybe if there was an ending between you and another person um you know this could be someone coming forward that's a water sign with an apology or something like that or just like loving um advice um encouragement support to you and that kind of energy as you're going through this situation. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So it's a Sagittarius energy. So this is divine timing is at play. You may not see it. Uh, divine timing, better luck and fortune, things going in your favor, the wheel turning in a better direction. You know, everything is happening as, happening as it's meant to be for you. And you may not see it because you have the Nine and the Ten of Swords there and the Seven of Cups feeling very confused. I feel like... You know, I'm definitely feel, feeling like here with the Hermit energy, you finally find that inner peace and knowing everything will be fine. And this is you like holding your cup, knowing all will be fine. And like, I've received that, listen to my intuition and my inner knowing, and I just know that everything will be fine. I know that's kind of like the message I'm getting with that. So it could be different for other people, however it resonates for you. But just know divine is at work here. Timing, you know, everything will work as it should be, and you may not see it, you may not know it. Uh, or you went through a period where you couldn't see it and didn't know it. But now I feel like you know everything will be as it shall. And you finally have, like, that inner peace and knowing, you know, everything will be fine through, you know, even though you were through this period of all the stress, anxiety, confusion, and fear. So let's see what your advice is moving forward. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So this is, wow. So this is balance. This is peace, harmony, balance. Uh, everything balancing out here with the Six of Pentacles can be with work, career, finance, material things here, all balancing out it work you know just keep working with the pentacle energy just keep at it keep your energies balanced keep in the positive mindset keep working at what you're doing because the divine here is telling you you will have this brand new passionate beginning something you're very passionate about this transformation will take place brighter times to come here with the sun in the background there may be still some cloudiness around right now but there is growth expansion transformation you'll be able to have this brand new beginning and whatever you're passionate about whatever your passionate endeavor is moving forward whole new brand new beginning a lot of balance just to keep working and keep your balance and striving and the new beginning is here for you so keep working on your new beginning that you're very passionate about so if you you know something ended for you career wise i see something coming in for you that you'll be very excited and passionate about and it'll be very balanced and it's coming in divine timing or it could be a project it could be an endeavor it could be a career it could be anything only you know what resonates for you um, in your situation a relationship this is a general reading if you can fit it into a, a relationship reading of some kind or energy then that's fine um, so let's see what your possible outcome may be Leo the seven of wands so yep 
the outcome is you'll keep fighting on, you'll keep uh, going on, uh, standing up for what you believe in, defending what you believe in, and you'll be that tough soldier and you'll just keep fighting on. You'll just keep fighting on for your success here, for your new beginning. All right, so let's get more clarity now. So we have the three of wands. So yeah, this is a waiting period for you as you're waiting um, for this divine time to come in, this new beginning to start or to restart, whatever it is for you. You know, you see it in the distance, you know it's coming, you're making the plans, you're, you set everything in motion, but it's just right now, there's just a period of waiting. temperance so we have Sagittarius energy here twice wow so this is uh, you know peace harmony balance patience um, again divine energy here uh, divine angel saying things will balance out in time just have that keep that inner peace keep yourself balanced and you know everything will be fine Right, healing energy there, peaceful, calm energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. So, yep, holding on, like you want to hold on to uh, this dream you have. If you, you know, maybe you lost a career or a job, but now you did your inner work, you went through all the confusion, and now it's like you know where you want to go, where you want to do. So you're kind of holding on to this idea, this thought, this creative process, this new endeavor, project, whatever it is for you. You're holding on to all your ideas, your stability, your material, whatever material gains you have right now. You're holding on to everything as all this um, plays out. You know, not spending foolishly, really, you know, keeping track and holding on to everything you have. As this all this divine timing plays out you know dry spell here so maybe you know you may be having to scrimp you know scrape a little bit with your finances the moon so this is Pisces cancer energy um, I definitely feel here Wow look how these two energies look almost the same so yeah, the moon, like you, you're not sure, you know, what's going to happen and you know, how it's going to go, uh, what the future holds here. You know, the path hasn't been totally enlightened to you yet as to what will transform and transpire for this new beginning. But, you know, you have the torch in your hand, so you have that fiery, passionate energy still. And, you know, it will be revealed to you in divine timing because the sun eventually does come out and you will have enlightenment and you will see the way you will see the path and you will know exactly where you need to go all right so now we have the king of wands so this is your energy it can be king or queen so this is sitting in your throne this is you know being that passionate go-getter this is doing what you set out to do you know it's not a page it's not a knight it's a king so you're standing in your throne, standing in your power, and you're doing whatever you set out to do here. And there's your Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. We have that passion, drive, desire, excitement, new creative project, endeavor, and moving forward in that energy. And then moving forward with that energy comes in your stability, your security, your whole brand new beginning of wealth and abundance coming in and setting the grounds here for your bright future moving forward and having all the growth and abundance that you need moving forward in this brand new beginning with a lot of st stability here, security. Four of Wands. So again, fire energy again so having that this is represents the home stable home a happy content family home life um, in your marriage you know rejoicing celebrating good times uh, ceremonies you know could be getting married in the future or just a very happy time in your marriage if you are married that things are finally getting better 
the three of cups so you know again with the rejoicing and celebrating and people coming together and being happy and having good times you know maybe celebrating this new um project and this like <laughs> confirmation bam <laughs> coming together with um you know like-minded people family and friends celebrating having good times toasting to you know your new life and then you have the river queen and you have the waterfall back here so a lot of healing will come in peace harmony okay let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the nine of cups so there you go water energy wish fulfillment happiness joy success dreams coming true although she looks like she's drunk so just watch um you know alcohol intake <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, so there you go. Happy home and family life. Totally abundant, secure, and stable and grounded. You have all the material things you need, your finances. You will never worry here. You have total abundance here. Happy home and family. Ten of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles, so now, you know, you got the Queen of Wands. King of Wands over there, standing in your passion and in your uh, creativity and that sort of energy and also bringing in the money and the finances and being stable, secure and grounded and being that creator and maybe a business owner, entrepreneur um, and that sort of thing. Being the boss and being in your throne. Wow, Leo. So six of cups here. So you could, you know, um, fan this is, uh, you know, old family friends. Uh, this could be something you've wanted to do since childhood. Um, makes you feel very lighthearted and brings out your childlike uh, qualities, whatever you're doing here, because you're so happy and content. Or you could, and you could have even been, you could have even done this in past lives also. So yeah, I do see, you know, so you're standing in your throne, being secure, stable, and grounded. Lots of wealth and abundance and growth and expansion. To never have to worry here with the Ten of Pentacles. You'll have all the wealth and stability that you need. Happy home and family. Wish fulfillment here. Wow, Leo. So, you know, don't give up through this dry spell or this... Um, I was surprised we didn't get... I was thinking of the Tower card because we have these thunderstorms going on right now. Whatever Tower moment you're going through or um, whatever right now... Uh, I think, you know, all will be fine because divine timing is at play here. And uh, you have fate and destiny on your side. You have two brand new beginnings, doing what you love, what you're passionate about, and being creative and having stability, wealth, success, abundance, prosperity. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some extra, extra guidance for you Leo first half of August guidance and advice for you first half of August what is the advice and guidance for Leo that's too many first half of August spirit please thank you so much there we go changing your mind so this ending could be something that you, uh, maybe you just decided on yourself. You know, maybe you thought of ending something for a long time here and you, you know, didn't know what to do. You would say, okay, I'm done and then change your mind and then say, I'm done and then change your mind. So whatever here involves changing your mind in some way or cha needing to change your mindset, if you're in a negative mindset to come out of that because you have all this positive stuff moving forward. I feel it's just a dry spell, almost like a tower moment for you right now. And um, don't change your mind on your future and what you truly want to do and what you really feel like your life purpose is, what you feel passionate about, uh, whatever this creative energy is, because divine timing is here to say it will bring in your, uh, your fortune, your abundance, your growth, prosperity. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Family changes, so, and decisions. So I don't know, it could, uh, 
involve a family change of some some way, whatever that means for you. Uh, maybe something in your family dynamic needs to change for this um, for this the future of this in some way, if that makes sense for you. Um, you know, maybe you will have to with the three ones that maybe you'll have to move. You know, whatever you're doing now, maybe for some reason your family will have to move for some reason. So that could be it, you know, some sort of family change here that you will really need to decide on what you really want to do here. And th there we have welcome in the new. So welcome in the new, you know, don't change your mind. Welcome this new coming in. I definitely hear too, you could have left, um, you could have left uh, a career or a job or something. Oh, okay, Leo. So I see, you know, whatever ending happened for you or whatever you're changing or whatever um, you're going through right now, um, that either something ended or you think it is ending, that I see it's just a dry spell. Things will turn around. Um, just, you know, balance out your energy. Keep a positive mindset and all bright new beginnings here for you. Uh, I see growth, abundance, and being very successful and being in your fiery, passionate energy. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo. So if this resonated for you, do please um, like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So please don't miss out on that. And good luck to you in your situation here. And I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.